it is. Big return to serve. Looking for it already right behind the baseline, but just steps in, takes it early. She's inside the court, and I like how she moves in that. By saying, listen, you haven't played a lot of tennis the last three months. Yes. It's just her 12th match since winning the Wimbledon title. Wow, yeah, that's definitely not a lot of tennis compared to how much. Yeah. And she does get it, and that makes it for all. The server to be able to maintain their composure. Set number two. That's it. Shades of that Agnieszka Radvanska. Yeah, she does this really well. Andrescu uses her legs. The ball comes deep, so when you really want to get low, the lower you are, the easier it is. Of course, Angelique Kerber as well. Yes. Already of the core position. Yeah, well, you can see Simone is frustrated, not very happy with herself. She knows that she's hitting the ball too short. If her opponent's able to hit that shot, it means that the ball's too easy, too short, and she's not making her move. Dealing with the adversity of serving for a second time to stay in the match. Too many times, my dear. Not this time. Just watch the end. That defense, and not quite sure what that was, but she's back to return serve once more. Oh, yeah. she fights that up. I'm not even sure that was the cleanest strike. Wow. But boy, did she muscle that through. Kilometers per hour, that's a 128 kilometer per hour return. The 91 minute mark arrives at match point. Back 
can't lift Cahill talked about earlier that had been a problem for Simona. She gave it just enough on this one, Mary. Well, definitely. And there's that backhand down the line that Darren Cahill said he wanted to see a lot more of. He knows what he's talking about. It's effective against Andrescu. in a while. I just think there's something maybe they're bothering her a little bit. We know how important her movement is. That is an example of going behind. And that is again that backhand down the line that Darren Cahill had said that he wants to see more of and Shot selection and placement. And made a couple of difficult shots look rather pedestrian, especially that backing yeah. up overhead close to the baseline. A decisive set. Oh, just put it a little too long. Sure, she realizes it's six all and yeah, okay. Now she's made the turn, but yeah, I mean, you gotta like the moxie just to say, oh, that's it. I'm gonna be assertive here. And Drescu just too aggressive, and Halep a sigh of relief and a wry smile, calling the physio, I believe, it may see an appearance for Halep. Either way, one set will decide who wins this contest between. Former number one, and perhaps in the not too distant future, for future number one. <laughs> Even after <laughs> she hits that shot, it's like the, she's just falling all yeah. around with her body language, Andrescu. So. Frustrates Romanian even more. You both please. Tried to play the percentage, and thinking that Andrescu Halep goes behind her. Well done to stay at home. Doing that quite well tonight. Andrescu, most of the time, successful with her drop shot. And it's got to be a good one against Simona Halep because she's she's pretty quick. She moves well out there on the court.
the power. Just a good way to just finish it off a seven and a half minute plus game. Towards your coach, as that'll serve my cause very well. Feeling better and better. Better and smarter as this match is going on. Another great backhand down the line. Using that backhand slice to keep the ball low. And good anticipation. Right place, right time, and a quality strike. That was a great serve from Andrescu, and she could have gone either, you know, down the line, maybe a better option, heading to the open court. Simona was. But more on that backhand side. Yeah, they're asking a lot of questions of Andrescu now. As Halep is coming up with the goods when it matters most. Does have her break. Wow. Okay then. That's you. Backhand at 131 kilometers per hour up shoulder high. Sixth break on the night has herself a game away. Someone who was down match point in the second set who hasn't given up and has kept fighting and just seems to be playing better and better. Just give me a couple extra minutes, is all her coach said. Just hang in there. If you give me that time, you could take the second set and everything changes. Right. And Simona Halep benefits 
a little belief and some internal motivation gets her across the finish line. Well done to the entire group that makes up Team Halep. Yeah, that'll feel pretty good, doesn't it, Simona?